The Tesla Model 3 isn't just a new electric car. It's the culmination of over a decade of careful, strategic planning to achieve Elon Musk's goal, to accelerate humanity's transition to sustainable energy. Making the Model 3 a reality is a huge milestone for Tesla. But whether it's building the world's largest factory or making driverless cars real sooner than anyone else, everything Tesla has done to this point is to set itself up for an even more extreme future. Tesla without Elon Musk might be unimaginable now, but he was just one of five co-founders in 2003. The company's first car was a sporty, all-electric, two-seater roadster, which won fans with its performance and efficiency in 2005. And Tesla sold just under 2,500 of them over four years. Not bad, but for context, Musk wants to sell 500,000 cars in 2018, the first full year of Model 3 production. What was unique about the Roadster was it was the first really great electric car. Uh, and before the Roadster, people thought an electric car would be, would be slow and ugly and low range and have bad performance. And we had to break that mold. It was incredibly important to, to show that that wasn't true. The Roadster was just the beginning of Elon Musk's master plan. Step one, build an expensive sports car. Step two, take the money from that and build a normalish car for half the price. Step three, use that money to build an affordable, high-volume car so that everyone can go electric. That would be the Model 3. The company struggled financially at first. Musk poured his own money in and stepped into the CEO role in 2008. The next year, Tesla unveiled Step 2, the Model S, the car that Tesla would become famous for and still its flagship today. The global financial crisis slowed plans for Tesla. Deliveries of the S didn't start until 2012. But when they finally did, the internet couldn't get enough of the car that Musk said was like having your own private roller coaster. Ah! Oh my God! What? I didn't know they could do that! <laughs> oh, you weren't kidding! It could travel up to 300 miles on a charge and do 0 to 60 in a ludicrously fast sprint. We'll call the Tesla Model X Step 2.5 in Musk's master plan. The idea to build an SUV as well as a car made sense on paper. Buyers usually love them and will pay a premium. But the Model X, with its stunning Falcon doors, was a manufacturing nightmare for Tesla. The Model X was unveiled in 2012, with sales due to start in 2013. Around 30,000 people put down $5,000 deposits, and then waited, and waited, and waited. Deliveries actually started in 2015. Musk now admits the complexity of the X was hubris. The company was stretching too far, too fast. Tesla also faced severe supplier parts shortages. As it starts to build the Model 3, Tesla says it's drawing on all those lessons from its past and building a far simpler car. So now, then going from the, the, the S and the X, we finally come to, we come to, to, to step three, or the, the final step in the, in the master plan, which is a mass market <laughs> affordable, affordable car. It's also taking control of much of its supply chain. It's building a gigafactory in Nevada, which, when it's finished, will be the largest building on Earth by footprint. And although it's only partly done, it's already up and running, making batteries. It, it'll, it'll produce more lithium-ion batteries than all other factories in the world combined. In this one location. Never one to hold back, Musk wants to open several of the giant factories around the world, and two to three more in the U.S. to keep up with the demand the Model 3 is expected to create. Electric cars are just part of the picture for Tesla, though. The company has been a leader in another very important emerging field, autonomy. Elon Musk wasn't satisfied with building a super fast electric car. He wanted to take his computers on wheels to the next level. In October of 2015, Tesla pushed a software update that turned on the now famous autopilot, which allowed its cars to pretty much drive themselves on the highway. 
and eventually to pull in and out of garages with nobody inside. A newer generation of sensors and an onboard supercomputer should be enough for full self-driving, Musk says, and he promises to demonstrate that with a cross-country trip by the end of 2017. It's yet another crazily ambitious self-imposed deadline. Meanwhile, Tesla is also building out its superchargers, its own network of high-powered chargers that span the highways of the U.S. and other countries and enable long-distance travel with quick recharge times. Not top up your tank quick, but 20 to 40 minutes rather than overnight. They're one of the biggest selling points to anyone who needs an electric car to be more than a city trekker. But the current network is already getting crowded, even without the influx of Model 3s. Tesla says it will double the number of chargers worldwide. And they'll be needed. In 2016, Musk took the wraps off the Model 3. All right, let's bring him out. Step three in his master plan, the affordable car. Some 375,000 people rush to make reservations at $1,000 each for a car that starts at $35,000. For once, production seems to be running on schedule, but deliveries will start very slowly. The first cars coming off the line are going to Tesla and SpaceX employees to shake out any bugs. But eventually, this is the car that will compete with BMW or Toyota, the vehicle that Tesla hopes will prove electric cars are usable and attainable for everyone. Elon Musk has also teased a big rig to be revealed later in 2017, a pickup, and a smaller SUV. Just because the Model 3 is here doesn't mean Tesla has any intentions of slowing down. <laughs> 